of sitting here in the Suburban and I thought I would go over what the transmission rebuild cost. Now, I looked around and just a quick look on Craigslist before I decided to rebuild it. I, I was leaning towards rebuilding it myself anyway, but I just wanted to see what it would cost if I had someone else do it. And what I was seeing was um, they were kind of all over the place. So probably on the low end for, of course, you could get a uh, used one uh, with a warranty, probably $350, $400. Uh, you know, that's like a 30-day warranty from a junkyard. And that was pretty much the low end uh, for anything that you could consider going through the effort to install, I guess is what I could say. Uh, anything cheaper than that, you know, it's kind of like a as is, sold as core, you know, no idea if it works, which probably doesn't, or they'd be selling it for, for more money. But, um, so if I wanted to do a used route, of course, to me, that's, it's a lot of effort, um, you know, to spend four hundred dollars and put a used transmission in that may or may not be better than what I've got well, of course what I had was failing but um, you just never know um, my transmission after you know it, it was shifting and working intermittent uh, I'm not gonna say intermittently um, it was more so when it got hot and uh, or when it locked well yeah and when the converter locked up but other than that you know if you just took it for a quick test drive you would probably think it was okay but of course tearing into it you know it was full of metal shavings the clutches had metal shavings all embedded in them you know it, it was shot um, or about to be shot you know if I would have kept driving it it would have really done a lot of damage to it. So the other problem I have with the next change one is you don't know what that transmission went through. Mine, you know, yes it was full of metal shavings, but nothing catastrophic happened to it. You know, there was no catastrophic damage inside. The torque converter let go and sent metal shavings to the transmission. We didn't have any hard parts fail. You know, the bushings were all still in good shape. We replaced all of them. But, you know, we didn't have like a bushing fail and it score the input drum or, you know, something like that. Um, so, I feel better either, or I felt better either having mine rebuilt or rebuilding it myself. You know, not an exchange. But just for comparison, I, I looked around, and on the low end, you could find an exchange transmission for about 650. That was pretty much the lowest on a rebuilt I could find was 650 dollars. That did not include the torque converter. And then, and that was a basic rebuild. It said all new parts, but to me, that's very vague, and I didn't reach out to them because there's. That's there's no way that's all new parts. It, it's got to be all new clutches and seals. I don't even know if they include bushings. There's just no way that they include new shift solenoids, new wiring harness, any hard parts. Um, you know, maybe there's some transmission lingo there that when they say all new parts, they mean, you know, there's an understanding of what they mean. But to me that was very vague just saying all new parts so I took that to mean a basic rebuild kit with clutches probably steels and all the seals and probably the applied pistons stuff like that most likely that's what they they mean by all new parts but like I said that's a very vague thing to say on a rebuild you know, why not say, you know, all new, 
I, I guess they're trying, they're probably trying to get people by that, you know. Hey, this transmission's only $650, it's got all new parts. It, it doesn't really have all new parts, but you know, that was the low end, and kind of, you know, I was. Most of what I was seeing like on Craigslist and stuff was low end. I didn't do a lot of looking online as far as different rebuilders in my area because I was pretty dead set on rebuilding it myself. Um, again, on Craigslist, the high end I saw was 1400 and it was listed as like a stage three. They didn't go into details on what stage three meant. Actually, I think they did. Um, no, that was a different one. There was one I saw for 750. It did not include the torque converter. They did list out all the stuff. I think they did have new bushings on that one. And they, I think, had a Corvette servo. And that was it as far as upgrades. It did not, in, they did not list a new sun shell. Um, all that is stuff that to me, if you're gonna rebuild it, you definitely wanna replace the sun shell and put a beast sun shell in it. Um, like I said, that one was 750, no converter, and you're looking about $150 for a converter. So you know that would be into that transmission for $900. So that being said, what did it cost me to rebuild my transmission? Here's what we've got. This is every single thing that went into my transmission. Every bolt. The only thing that's not included is transmission fluid. I did not include that in the price. So, the rebuild kit itself was $188.47. That was clutches, ste clutches, steels, seals, applied pistons, uh, bushings, um, gaskets, everything. Then, and so, let's go over, yeah, let's go over that and then, so, on a most rebuilds you're not going to get new solenoids and harness i paid 150 dollars for all new shift solenoids and they are oem they're not any knockoffs and a wiring harness i paid 27.95 for the transgo shift kit the transgo separator plate which you're not going to get that in most rebuilds you're going to get you know a a used separator plate hopefully in good shape mine was probably reusable but it did definitely have some wear in it so for 20 bucks definitely worth replacing it for under 20 bucks boost valve 1859 now I probably could have saved on this boost valve because I think my shift kit actually came with a boost valve I'm not positive on that if you're looking to do this yourself check out because I ordered the shift kit later after I already had bought the boost valve. Check out the Transgo shift kit and see if it includes a boost valve and if it does, you can save that cost there. Uh, the accumulator piston, I went ahead and bought an aluminum accumulator piston. Um, Transgo recommended it in their shift kit because they said that you know the plastic ones fail. I don't know how true that is, but for $7.68, you know, I went ahead and put an aluminum one in. Now, I listed the bell housing bolts over here on the side because I'm going to count that separate when we're just figuring out the cost of the rebuild itself because normally you would not replace those. I just wanted to get rid of those uh, star bit. Um, the neutral safety switch was $29.78 and I included that separate as well as well as the transmission mount. Corvette servo was $12.74. Beast Sunshell was $49.04. The converter I listed it separately it was $150. The shift shifter bracket bolts those were also star bits that I replaced you know torque I say star torque bit uh, those are just a dollar eighty four and then so our total for just the transmission parts everything that went inside the transmission was four hundred and seventy three dollars and seventy eight cents so you know I came out just a little bit more than what I could have bought a used transmission for you know with like a 30-day warranty 
and then our extras torque converter and um, the bolts and transmission mount neutral safety switch were $211 and like I said I listed the converter separately here because all the rebuild prices you see or all the ones I saw did not include the torque converter and so our complete price for every single thing I spent on it except for fluid was $684.96 so I feel like definitely it was the way to go um, with all the parts I have in this transmission I feel like I have I don't know if I've got like I said I don't know that stage 3 transmission they didn't list what all was in it I, it's probably got more stuff than I've got in mind you know more mods and all that kind of stuff but I would say that this is definitely if I had to pay to get all this put into a transmission it probably would have cost me over a thousand dollars um, so I felt like this was definitely the way to go um, and I feel like I've got a lot of good parts in this one and hopefully it will you know provide me a lot of years of good service so I'll put links in all the description or in the description for everything I think everything let's see the rebuild kit I think was eBay solenoid and harnesses were eBay uh, shift kit was Amazon, separator plate Amazon, boost valve Amazon, accumulator piston Amazon, bell housing bolts Amazon, neutral safety switch Amazon, transmission mount Amazon, Corvette servo Amazon, beast sun shell Amazon, Cor the converter I ordered it from uh, my uh, transmission rebuilder friend and then the shifter bracket bolts came from Lowe's so most of it came from Amazon, and then the rest of it mostly came from eBay. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to see more.